Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Damon, this is Dame Over, and um, I've got a rotten cold as you can probably tell from my voice, but this is going to be the last video you guys are going to see before Christmas. And today's video is all about squad play and just how important it is in Battlefield 5. So I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks on how to coordinate well with your squad by directly communicating with them and coordinating your attacks and defences. So if you find this video useful or entertaining, make sure you hit that like button, and if you're new around here and you want to keep up to date with more Battlefield 5 content, then make sure you hit the subscribe button too. So let's jump to it. I've got a bunch of clips here that you're going to see. I was playing with my brother Luke. He's been in some of my videos before. You might recognize his voice. It sounds exactly the same as this. He's usually the guy at the end of the streams that does this. Yep. So anyway, we were playing together and we managed to find a really good rhythm with our communicating and coordinating our attacks. Number one, drawing fire. So these clips, you're going to see one of us either pushing into an objective or holding a defensive position, while the other one finds a new angle that the enemy won't be looking at to flank them and take advantage of them being absolutely blindsided. So quite often, as you can imagine, one of us will be closer to the objective than the other. So there's a few clips here that you'll see either myself or Luke push into an objective and wait for a couple of seconds to get some support. Firstly, you need to work out exactly where the enemy are coming from, which angle of attack they're using. Using the squad ping mechanic is a huge help in working out where the enemy is coming from and telling your teammates. And as you'll see in some of these clips, we've worked out exactly where they're coming from, and that's when you choose to have a separate angle of attack. So the idea being, and us playing as a duo, is that one of us holds the attention of the other team and draws their fire, staying alive as long as possible, while the other teammate goes around the flank and shoots them in the back or the side. So this is where you need to know some of the flanking routes and know the entrances into each objective. Number two, map knowledge. Map knowledge is key to being able to take advantage of these flanking routes. So make sure you're taking the time to go around the objectives and work out where the entrances and exits are. Anyway, back to the nitty gritty. So one of us is holding the attention. Let's say it's Luke in this particular clip. He's buying me some time so I can push around the back and get in behind the enemy force that's pushed into the objective. Meanwhile, I'm literally hoping against all hope that I don't come up against more than one enemy. And all going well, I've managed to take the enemy from behind <laughs> and get a multi-kill. Now obviously having more than two players in your squad is preferable as you'll be able to bring more guns to bear on the enemy at one time and also that you can divide their attention even more. There will obviously be times where you are severely outnumbered or outgunned and you'll need to back away. Number three, coordinating a retreat. And again, communication is very important here. Your squad can help you get away from the danger and you can use them to cover your retreat. And if you know you're being chased, you can use your teammate to set up an ambush that you can drag the enemy to. Number four, the down and swivel. Another very useful mechanic to be aware of is that if you do get down, you can still swivel around using the right stick. This is on console and you can keep an eye on any enemies that might still be nearby. So even if you do have a friend that likes to die a lot, they can still be useful. Number five, callouts and creating your own callouts is another very important thing to do one of my top tips actually find things create a name for them and stick to it as you can see we're playing on devastation here and there's a balcony that overlooks most of the church that's been partly destroyed so nice and simple we just call this part of the church top church but whatever you choose to name parts of the map stay consistent with it when you're playing with your squad number six timing timing Ugh. Now with this sort of closely coordinated team play, timing is absolutely everything. If you're too far away from the fight, you need to tell your teammates that you are. Using the distance marker that you can see when you're looking at your squad mates on your screen is a very useful way to be able to tell them exactly how long you're going to take to get into the fight. It's as simple as saying, I'm 30 meters away, give me a sec, I'll tell you when to go. This way you're able to increase your chances of success by entering the fray at exactly the same time. It does take some getting used to, especially with the flanking techniques that I talked about earlier. If the player that's flanking takes the lead on the countdown to attack, then you should be able to coordinate quite easily. So those are my top tips and tricks to get the most out of squad play in Battlefield 5, something that's entirely essential, and something that DICE were actually deliberately aiming to be a part of Battlefield 5. I'll just show you the leaderboard here so you can see our scores, and we both racked up a hell of a lot of kills, and considering there's only two of us in the squad, we had a pretty big impact on how well our team did. Timing! Can you stop? So anyway, a huge thank you to my Dame operatives, those of you guys that are helping to support the channel through Patreon. It's because of your continuing support that this channel can actually exist. So thank you so, so much. And it means a lot, especially with the holidays up as well. If you guys want to become a patron yourself, I've left a link in the description. There will also be one in the pinned comment. It will take you straight to the Patreon page where if you'd like to, you can help support the channel from as little as $1 a month. So if you had a good time, make sure you've hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications so you don't miss any future posts. Posts, and as always, feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like. And until next time, that's game over. Peace. Timing!